Hi YouTube, here's my 1995 Hoover Turbo Power 3 U2880. This I got from somebody on Vacuum Land called Dave, um, and he was nice enough to let me have it for free. So if you're watching this, Dave, thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, the Turbo Power 3s were released in 1994, and they replaced the Turbo Power 1000s. Um, and I personally believe that the only reason Hoover brought out the Turbo Power 3 was because of the launch of the Dyson DC-01. The DC-01 was the first vacuum to have a stretch hose that stretched right to the top of the stairs. Um, and sure enough, one year later, Hoover brought out an upright with a stretch hose that reached right to the top of the stairs. Um, now, that's not like Hoover to copy another brand, is it? <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, that's the reason what, that I believe. I'm not saying it's true, but that's what I believe they happened. It was just plain copying. Either that or they might have been designing it a couple of years before the DC-01. Who knows? But um, I reckon they just copied it. But anyway, this example here is a top of the line model from the original lineup so naturally it has all the bells and whistles um, so I'll give you an overview um, this was filthy and I mean filthy when I first got it so I give it a good bathing completely disassembled everything obviously I, I didn't bath the motor just all the major plastic parts um, and I give it a polish and it's all nice and clean. Nothing was broken on it. Um, but anyway, as you can see, it says Turbo Power 3 stair cleaning. Um, Hoover did heavily boast the stair cleaning feature, and I think that was the main selling point to this model. Um, it does say Turbo Power 3 in the centre as opposed to off at the side um, on earlier Turbo Power 2 models. Edge cleaning which it really does edge clean, it doesn't just say it it's got extremely long splayed edge cleaning brushes the four position height adjustment got sharp carpet medium carpet long carpet and hard floors and shag if you like that sort of thing anyway it's also got a tool mode as this setting now there are two stress points here, that's where the screws hold the hood down and somebody's over tightened them. Um, it was probably at the factory, so the screws have been over tightened and it's pulled down this casing and strained it there. But when I put it back together I did try to be sure that I didn't over tighten it and split it. So there's your micro exhaust filter. The Hoover lettering and royal appointment. The lovely metallic finish. This particular colour is called Lagoon Green Metallic. There's a blanking sticker where on original Turbo Power 2s would have been a piston bag indicator. There are all the specs at the top of the bag door. Permabag System 2 stair cleaning, auto sense and 1000 watts so this was the all singing, all dancing model there's the auto sense on off button, boost button bag light low power, medium power and it's highest power setting so when they tell you it's a thousand watts it's really running at probably about 400 watts unless you used it in boost all the time then it'd be running at the full motor wattage it does indeed have permabag system 2 as standard but it was available as an optional extra on all turbo power 2s and 3s that didn't come with it so I've got a little air freshener here, a disc air freshener they smell very nice and then you've got a sponge pre-filter and a carbon pre-filter 
So the pre-motor filtering is quite good on this machine. Um, I do believe that on Turbo Power 3s and later Turbo Power 2s that they strengthened this bag door so it wasn't prone to splitting as easily. But um, I don't really want to test that. Anyway, it's missing its Hoover badge as most tended to. They relocated the cable because otherwise it would get in the way of the hose or vice versa because it used to come out from here and start a little circle of where it used to be. There. Um, Round to the back, we have an 8.5, I believe, metre cable, or it might be 8 metre, and a 360 degree swiveling cord hook. There is the lower cable hook, or the carrying handle, you can also use that one as a carrying handle. So the hose caddy is slightly different. This lower cable hook slash carrying handle is a bit bigger than on a Tower Power 2 and it doesn't have the groove for where the hose would fit in because obviously it goes on this top hook because it's longer. Um, so here are your onboard tools, as you can see. The Turbo Power 3 did away with the long crevice tool and so did t um, later Turbo Power 2s. It was really practically unnecessary anyway. Um, so here's your dusting brush which is a bit squashed and manky looking now but oh well, I never use dusting brushes anyway. The um, upholstery tool that was pioneered on the Toro Power 3 but you see it on a lot more on Pure Powers it's got these little brushes and it's actually called a stair grooming nozzle what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to revitalise the carpet pile when you clean your stairs Um, I, I don't like this tool at all, I prefer the one that you get on the Toro Power 2 You've got your extension wand, and then inside that is a long, what they called a scabbard crevice tool. And you can actually put the the um, small tools on the end of the crevice tool, um, so you have a longer reach. But I personally don't like doing that because it makes a loud hissing noise, and it's rather annoying. So here's your stair hose. Normally on a tow power 2 it would go round there, but because it's longer they've added this extra hook so it goes up to there. Um, it's got an ergonomic hand grip, oops, which is nice to hold in the hand, it's very comfortable to use. And it has a little piece on the hose, kind of like a pure power. It has a little plastic piece that hooks at the on the bottom of the pre motor filter. Sorry, post motor filter cover. Um, and this rubber piece hooks onto that corresponding yellow hook down there. So when you're cleaning upholstery, you can stretch the hose out while you're cleaning and pull it along without the machine falling over. But obviously when you clean stairs you have to remove it from that hook otherwise it won't reach to the top. Um, the hose on mine up here is damaged a bit probably from where it's been stretched like that up the stairs because this hose is quite... I don't know it's kind of like a, a dryer hose, you know a tumble dryer? It's quite thin and light. So anyway, that just hooks around there, 
hooks up there and then goes back into the um, hose socket there so I think that's basically all there is to say on it so I'll give you a demonstration I can plug it in So I've got some sawdust, I'll just put some down and show you the pickup. Um, I believe it is a better performer than a Turbo Power 2 because it does have more airflow at the cleaner head because of the wider hose and it also, I didn't show you this, the Turbo Power 2 has a smaller um, ducting here. You see how that's got quite a large opening there? Well, it's only about. Hang on, I can't do this. You just see where that hole is at the end there? That's how big it is on a Turbo Power 2, but they widened it on the Turbo Power 3, so it's got improved airflow. Um, and the suction does feel stronger than on my 1000, even though they've both got the same motor wattage. But, um,. Anyway, sorry to bore you with that. I'll put some sawdust down, and I did. Um, I was led to believe that the um, auto sense wasn't as sensitive on a Turbo Power 3 than on a Turbo Power 2 because of the wider, longer hose. But I found that um, it's just as sensitive as a Turbo 2. So I don't know. But anyway, here goes. So um, the bag door seems a bit more sturdy than the um, earlier models and also I don't know if you heard that but it's got a bit of a like that kind of noise when it turns off or should I say finally slows down and um, that's because the rear bearing is a bit dry but from what I understand I don't think the motors are made serviceable in these not that you can get to the bearings anyway, although I could be wrong. But I've um, got a bit of a mess here, so I'll just clean this up. Let's see if it can sense this, I doubt it. No. So there you have it. 
basically this particular model is a Turbo Power 1000 U2814 but with a longer hose that's all it is but um, they're good vacuums anyway um, I don't think I've demonstrated this but I'll just quickly show you how the perma bag empties the perma bag system too is a lot better than the original perma bag you just press those two buttons there and these dirt release tongs they're called pop out and that's to help pull the dust out when it's full and you just tip it away like that simple as that and then it just clips back in like so so um anyway I hope you found this video interesting um, so thanks for watching there is my top of the line 1995 Hoover Turbo Power 3. Thanks for watching.